cheap sleeper cars that are underrated. Chevy SS, Ford Show Taurus, Mazda Speed 6, and more. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to MIA Luxury Cars. For today's video, we will be going to talk about the cheap sleeper cars that are underrated. Let's get started. Dodge Ram SRT 10 have you ever considered what would happen if your son was in charge of Dodge Ram's development? That's exactly what the SRT Division Boys did with the SRT 10 Ram. So, you're driving around and you see someone in an old Dodge and you assume it's just another construction worker. Yet, you're suddenly staring at the taillights because it just ran the sprint to 60 in less than 5 seconds. And you thought trucks were stupid, and they are, but at least this one is lightning fast. Volvo V70R it's even not the cool Volvo, so you line up in your Del Sol, thinking you're going to smoke this old lady and she completely destroys you. That big wagon has more than 300 horsepower. It has all-wheel drive and accelerates as it passes your sad ride. Worse, what's the point? They paid less than you paid for your Honda. Chevy SS it's the Impala, but it has a manual transmission and is much faster because of its Corvette-inspired V8. And unlike the other doll-looking four-door sedan on the show, the Chevy SS sounds incredible. Chevrolet cancelled it because they are moronic. No, seriously, they made this car that everyone always says they want. No one knew, so it was dubbed the Super Confusing SS, which is a trim level of many of their other vehicles. Regardless, it is the undisputed sleeper. GMC Typhoon One of the strangest, wisest things, fast cars. It's a little SUV that General Motors actually made and sold to the public, based on the popular Blazer with a huge ass turbo under the hood. So, once upon a time, the Typhoon and its sibling, the S10 Bast Cyclone, were the fastest quarter-mile cars GM produced. This boxy little SUV was a full second fast faster 0 to 60 than the Corvette. That is, it is still fast by today's standard. Ford Flex Echo Boost On paper, the Flex appears to be a giant SUV without the actual SUV part. However, this makes it the ideal vehicle for throwing a party into the back, which is why you're probably never heard of it. What's perplexing is that Ford installed a massive EcoBlast V6 engine in it. That is, this is all-wheel drive Mormon Mobile Ken Scoop. It's almost as if it beats the base Mustang off the line. They can build a quick little BS sedan and a quick giant people hauler, but they always seem to be playing catch up in the muscle car game. Ford Taurus Shaw it looks like a plain bagel without cream cheese, but it conceals a secret because this is the Ford Taurus Shaw, which stands for high output. Today's cream cheese flavor is a twin turbo V6 with 365 horsepower, which begs the question, why didn't they put that engine in the Mustang instead of the useless Cologne V6? We'll never know. Toyota Rave 4 Prime Despite the hatred, the hybrid RAV4 Prime, one of those cars that aren't really a crossover or an SUV, is actually really, really fast. 300 horsepower propel it to 60 mph in less than 6 seconds. Honda Accord 6x6 Do you consider a Honda Accord to be fast? Do you believe they're just slow and boring? You're completely wrong. The V6 6-speed manual Accord is one of Honda's best driving vehicles. It's not only fast, but the 6-speed transmission is a work of art. Mazda Mazda Speed 6 GT 
Do you want to know what auto journalists said when the Mazda Speed 6 was released? It was perplexing because it looked like a crappy four-door, but drove like a rally car. They couldn't figure out why Mazda would build a nearly 300 horsepower all-wheel drive commuter. But it's a nice car if you want something that blends in. It's a WRX without the scoop or the wings, as well as a less intimidating budge and and a far superior interior. Chevy Impala 7th Gen It appears to be one of the slowest cars on the list. This includes the minivan, which we haven't yet discussed. It's just a big, long 90s sedan. It's a coffee-after-dinner car, which is why it's a little strange to learn that it's powered by the legendary Chevy 350 small block V8. Beak Regal GS Some of you may be unaware that they still exist, but as it turns out, they do, are still producing automobiles. They are almost entirely owned by Chinese people and buffled college students who received them as a gift when their grandfather's license was revoked. Surprisingly, they're still using their old GNX tricks. The current Beak Regal GS is capable of producing more than 300 horsepower via a surprisingly nice 9-speed automatic transmission. Honda Odyssey the minivan that serves as a stand-in for every joke about becoming boring has VTech. This means that a new minivan is faster than most enthusiast cars, with the exception of the latest Miata and 86 Twins. Alfa Romeo 164 Pro Car so they took a stupid average car, you know the type of front wheel drive boring plastic, and turned it into a tube chassis mid-engine V10, rear drive race car with no more than 600 horsepower. It's absurd and completely wild in 1988, before they even knew cars could make that much power. So which car has caught your interest? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you enjoy this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you in our next video.